Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, gingerbread cookies with our vanilla cake mix. Um, our mixes are extremely versatile. You can make all kinds of different things. Um, and I'm gonna show you one of my all-time favorite cookies. I actually used to make these with uh, my old neighbor, Lena, Mr. Dearly. Um, so we're gonna add a half a can of the full-fat coconut milk, um, which is three-fourths of a cup plus two tablespoons. Um, if you have a kitchen scale, you can always uh, measure that out to 200 grams. Um, and uh, then we're gonna do one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is our rising agent, so don't worry, you are not going to uh, taste that apple cider vinegar in there. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you wanna get the good stuff, not that imitation stuff. Okay, so uh, molasses. Now, molasses is a, um, a sweetener, but I love it because it uh, provides iron and magnesium and um, some really good beneficial uh, vitamins that I don't mind when my kids have some gingerbread cookies um, because they're getting the molasses, they're also getting the ginger and the cinnamon, so they're actually getting some health benefits in these uh, gingerbread cookies. So this is going to be two tablespoons um, molasses is, well, very molasses -y and sticky. Um, so we'll just get that in there. And then we're going to add our cinnamon. So we're gonna do uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Well, I kinda use a little bit extra, don't I? I'm not the one for measuring. Um, and then you're also gonna do two teaspoons of ground ginger. You could also, you, you could do a mixture, which I always used to like to do, um, of ground ginger and fresh ginger as well. A really great tip for fresh ginger, because a lot of times when you buy ginger, you kind of buy a hunk of it, and you're not always gonna use all of it. Uh, you could actually peel it and then um, freeze it, and it grates really easy that way. So um, just grab your bag of uh, vanilla cake mix, open it up, and we're gonna dump the whole thing in. There we go. We'll set that aside, and then you could use, it's really easy um, to get this to mix together. You don't wanna use a whisk just because it's gonna be a thicker batter. Um, oh my gosh. Um, and gingerbread cookies aren't just for the holidays. Just like pumpkin isn't just for uh, the fall. You can have these year round, which we actually sell them at the bakery year round, um, just because they're one of my favorites. All right, so it comes together pretty easily. Um, it is a little bit uh, a soft of uh, batter. These are gonna be some soft cookies. And uh, we just gonna, we're just gonna use a scoop. Uh, so if you, you can really use any size scoop you want. So if you have a bigger scoop than this for ice cream, um, you can use that, you'll just have bigger cookies. Um, but this is the size that I have here. So I have a um, parchment paper lined tray. And then you can use, if you have a Silpat mat, you can use that too. I'm just gonna drop these on here. And then you can choose, uh, if you want to, you can flatten them out. I like to flatten them out because I like to, to get them a little bit crispy around the edges and then soft in the middle. And these are really great. You could um, actually make them into ice cream sandwiches. You could use like a coconut whipped cream and put that in the middle. So delicious. Okay, so that's the last one. I can, you can use your fingers, but since this is such a sticky batter, I'm actually just gonna use the back of the, um, the scooper here and just smush out the dough. And then these are going to bake at 350 degrees uh, for eight to 10 minutes, just until they're nice and cooked through. All right. There we go. So I'm just going to 
pop these in the oven and then enjoy the sweet cinnamon and molasses and then that uh, bite of ginger in there. So thank you for joining me in my kitchen today to make gingerbread cookies. Uh, you can find our full line of baking mixes on our website. Uh, they're free from gluten, the top eight allergens except for coconut, and they're also vegan. Uh, so thank you for uh, coming along on this journey and have a wonderful day. Much love and happy baking. Bye friends. <laughs>